If Kid was released during the time job descriptions were still a thing, I have no doubts she'd be assigned Kid. Partly because I have no idea who she is to begin with. Kid's Trustmaster reward is her clothes. It has a lot of stats, but only magic is really good. However, it does give a 20% boost to physical evasion, and well, okay, this is pretty small, but I guess it's there. Her Super Trustmaster reward is a two-handed dagger. <laughs> yeah, right. It has high magic, the evasion boost, and a slightly better provoke, probably because they want to steal the dagger. On to her active abilities. Bursting Break is an 80% full break on all enemies. Full Breakdown is an 83% full break on one enemy. Provoke 2 is Provoke, with a 75% general mitigation buff. Weak Attack is the same as Surge, so I'm gonna skip this chain. Defense did that. Pilfer uses a little under half her level burst gauge to steal from the enemy, inflict the 85% attack and magic break, 87% defense break, and the 88% spirit break, and activates an area effect that boosts fire damage by 30%, and ice resistance by 50%. Red Pin uses more Leia Burst Crystals to inflict a 150% fire imperil, use fire magic damage that partially ignores the enemy spirit, and activates the same area effect. It can't be used at the start of the battle though. Would you just shut up and get on with it? Somehow lets her team evade two attacks, and gives them a weird double killer against bugs and rocks. You'll kiss the moons! What? Whatever she means, it boosts her fire damage by 30%, her attack and magic by 250%, her Lena burst damage by 200%, and gives her a 300% stored magic buff. Passives. With her Trustmaster reward or Super Trustmaster reward equip, Kid gets 1,500 magic, a 30% boost to physical evasion, and a 50% boost to passive provoke. She also has 6 strong killers, a big boost to her Lena burst damage, and cuts her MP cost by 80% because that game must be demanding. At the start of the battle, she'll cast Preemptive Full Break, lowering her enemy stats by 70%. She prefers to carry a single weapon, meaning half the cap to the chain layer boost. Her normal attack has been changed to attack, scaling off her attack stat and filling her layer burst gauge by a small amount. At EX plus 2, she gets Warring Spirit 2. At EX plus 3, she gets 500 magic. Her elemental resistance is also pretty good, though you can see she's put her ice resistance into fire. Let's look at her layer burst. Inflicts a 87% defense break and a 88% spirit break, a 140% fire imperil, and deals fire magic damage. As a super layer burst user, Kid has access to Sabotage Shift, which sabotages her own viability by not giving any extra boosts. The super layer burst inflicts a 30% dagger imperil, raises the spirit break to 89%, the fire imperil to 160%, and deals stronger fire damage. Let's rank brave abilities. I prioritize Red Pin because the other one just raises the killers to an underwhelming level. Raising Red Pin just increases its damage, by the way. Time to make a damage rotation. On turn 1, cast Defense. Yo, kiss the moon, and Fierce Attack. On turn 2, cast Pilfer, double cast Fierce Attack, and cast Defense. On turn 3, use her Lena Burst. On turn 4, cast Defense, double cast Fierce Attack, and cast Yo, kiss the moons. You don't have to use Fierce Attack if you don't want to use that much MP. On turn 5, use your Super Lena Burst. So, EX 2. As a Super Lena Burst user, Kid automatically benefits from additional EX Awakenings. EX plus 2 gives her an instant Lena Burst, which can let you steal on the first turn, I guess. Her Lena Burst isn't bad if you want to inflict the debuffs either. Her Super Trustmaster reward introduces the best two handed magic dagger in the game, but I can't really think of anyone else who's super excited for this. EX plus 3 is just expensive collaboration stats on a unit who's not a damage dealer. So how good is Kit? She's a excellent fire debuffer, but uh, we already have Vaughn. Now of course, she's still one of the best fire debuffers in the game, but at the same time doesn't introduce anything new there. Her dagger imperil, however, brings in the first 30% imperil for daggers, which doesn't look great when we're just starting to get 40%. She's also support, but she's not a good one. The killers are just subpar, the mirage is spammable by cats at 2, and the fire field… well that's okay I guess. All this would be fine if her damage was good, but no, these modifiers are terrible for a limited Neo Vision unit, so she's ultimately just kind of average. Overall, is Kid a good unit? Sure, the debuffs are definitely strong, but is she a good, limited, collaboration unit that makes you feel bad if you miss her? 
No, because we have Von Small Jacket. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you summon Kid. It's sad she's so underwhelming. After all, she summons a friend.